Hello, and welcome to playing scales on the cello. What we're going to do today is play C major, two octaves. What you'll see on the screen right now are the notes for a C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Now, two octaves means that we're not only going to play those first eight notes, but we're going to play them again in a higher register. So you'll be playing that line of notes two times. Okay, the next thing that you'll see on the screen are the fingerings that go with that. So you'll see 0, 1, 3, 4, 0, 1, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 2. Now the fingerings are just there as a reminder of which fingers go where. So zero means open, which is why we play our open C. Then you see the number one, because that's our first finger, D. Then you see the number three, because it's our third finger, E. And then you see the number four, because that's our fourth finger, F. Important for our cellists, make sure that our hands are all the way across the fingerboard. Notice how my elbow comes around the instrument so I can play on top of the fingerboard, not on the side. There's no point in playing scales if our fingers are collapsed and our elbow is down. Because why we play scales is to learn where the notes are. So while we're learning where the notes are, we want to give ourselves the best chance to play them correctly and accurately. So some teachers may not agree, but it can be very helpful to have a tuner nearby to make sure, yep, there's D, yep, there's E. So we have our C string notes where our hand is all the way across, then we move over to open G. First finger A, third finger B, and fourth finger C. Another way to see if you're in tune, when you play fourth finger C, your open C will vibrate like crazy because it's part of the harmonic series on the instrument. So if you're really in tune, your open C will resonate. Okay, continuing to the second octave, we go over to open D, first finger E, and here's the first time that we play F with our second finger. Okay, second finger F, not third finger F sharp. Second finger F, fourth finger G, intonation check, roll the bow to open A, first finger B, and second finger C. Notice again that my elbow did not collapse. It did not crumple. My thumb did not go into any sort of place aside from where it's beneficial for my hand to be around and on top of the instrument. So make sure that whatever string you're on, part of doing scales is making sure our arms are balanced so that we can have access to every single note. Now I recommend while doing scales to use a metronome so we can organize our practice. I'm going to put my metronome on 60 beats per minute. And here is C major scale, two octaves, once per note for a half note. While I'm playing, I'm listening for my sound, make sure it's full and clear on every string. I'm staying balanced in my arm, and I'm listening to make sure that I'm in tune. Here we go. C major. Ready? And... Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Good job. I recommend that we always keep our left hand slow to be accurate and through repetitions with different variations of the bow, allow our left hand to feel very good about the topography of the instrument. So now we're going to play twice per note, two quarter notes. Your left hand gets to say the same speed, but now we're going to utilize the bow arm differently. Here is C major, two octaves, twice per note. Ready? Find your balance. Ready? And. think to yourself, is my thumb relaxed and round? Is my pinky relaxed and round? What does my first finger do to help me have a clear sound on every string? Here we are, four times per note, eighth notes. One and two and let's see and go and. incredibly comfortable. Make sure your left hand has the right shape to it, that your arm is helping you be in tune and accurate with tension-free playing, making sure your hand can fly around the fingerboard without having to think what note is next. Then you can speed up the left hand by changing the variations to give you less and less repetitions until you're able to fly up and down the instrument. But step one, Posture is more important than notes, so make sure that you're thinking about how you are balanced and how you are playing the notes. Go slow so you can learn fast. Think while you're playing and you'll learn so much more quickly. That's the C major scale two octaves. Use that as a template to make sure you're in tune and making a beautiful sound and using the correct fingerings. All right, thanks for stopping by. And once you've practiced for 17 hours, go ahead and find the next video for G major. Thanks, everybody, and remember that if you practice every day, by the end of the year, you'll be taller.